okay welcome everyone today we're going to be showing you on how to um mod or hack a save a save file a save fallout shelter game yeah, file on an android phone which can also be transferred to a pc so firstly all you have to do is download the uh, an app named paint my vault from the google play store it's free you don't have to pay for anything so um, when you download it you open it you're going to get this menu and this menu here this is where you're going to choose the slot at which the vault you want to mod is in for example we all know there are three slots the first one the first vault the second vault and the third vault so um for this for th for this video today we're going to be modding the third vault so um that's vault 999 um this is a brand new vault i just opened it for the sake of this video as you can see i have not even actually moved my dwellers into the vault so i still have my 730 new car which can be added to as much as you want energy could be added to a lot too so uh, basically you could you could um add everything except lunch boxes and um lunch boxes um mr handies pet careers you, c you can't get those but apart from that you could basically edit everything steam pack right away water food energy and um what happens is that all but nuka nuka actually keeps on coming down because it has a very high limit but then apart from that energy food water it uses your limit and then it doesn't actually it doesn't actually increase when you get more more energy or food or water but it keeps on coming down until it reaches your limit that, that's when it can actually go back up or come down but apart from that the steam pack and right away that one also doesn't increase but it tends to actually come back down till it reaches your limit also and then you can also remove all rocks save that uh, save this too and then that's all you have for vault resources and then for dwellers you, these are all the dwellers you have if you have 200 you're actually going to be able to go down till the 200th person so you can actually change the name which you can do in the in-game um, make the person happier increase the person's level this being one the highest being 50 increase maximum health maximum health is actually 644 so whatever you add it will still eventually come down to 644 increase someone's health radiation um, you can turn it to zero make it 100 whatever and um, increase someone special or reduce it whatever you want to do you can actually just do that and then appearance you can actually change someone's skin color to any color you want like you can actually make it red blue green it doesn't really matter hair color also the same you can actually make it red blue green it doesn't actually matter but then the outfit color will not change because it's always a blue and yellow vault suit or if it's a special character maybe it come with an outfit the outfit's color doesn't also change okay and then you can save that uh let's say and that you can actually do that to any other person you can just take francis walker for example make the person happier or make the person as sad you can increase the person's health whatever you want to do increase this reduce this increase this or you can act you can actually just make the person black make the person white you, okay, you can't actually be that white you just be fair but then you can make the person blue and with let's say orange hair or blue hair whatever you can save that and then you can and then there's also um common operations well what this does is that you can actually heal everyone cure everyone happy everyone that's make basically make everyone happy and max everyone starts that's their special their strength perception endurance whatever 
you can actually max it all or you can if that's if you want maybe maybe for example now you don't want to make the game a bit boring and like they're a bit sad you could just make all of them happy but if you just want to do it all you can just click this and save yourself about let's say three seconds so um another feature which you can do save that another feature which you can which the release is to add is the add dweller button that's this plus over here and when you click the big plus it should just add a normal random dweller which you name um give the person a level health well female gender male or female the person can come to your vault pregnant uh you can increase this 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 skin color as we make the person green hair color red whatever you can do that and the other one the unicorn is about legendary or rare dwellers that's where you find people from the game from the actual game which is um the dr lee elder leons jericho preston three dog piper and etc etc there are a lot of them which you can actually pick from let's just use dr lee for this example you can see it over here dr lee name happiness max health everything you can actually change dr lee's gender you can increase this basically everything you could do with a normal dweller you can do with a legendary dweller also so let's just do this and that is all with the that's basically everything it does that's basically everything i'm going to show you guys in a minute how it affects the game and how it actually looks in the game okay okay so here we are in the game and um we're going to select the vault which we just modded which was the third one that's vault 999 as you can see there is i have no vault in the second slot and i also saw that in the mod menu so we're going to click on the vault low vault and we're going to wait actually um you can use this mod and maybe um, mod your whole vault and turn it to uh, maybe an avatar themed vault maybe turn everyone blue or a simpson themed vault and turn everyone let's say um, the color yellow or a mutated vault turn everyone green you can just can have fun with it but mostly it actually makes the game a bit boring but then easier so um as you can see here is all the money pregnant woman this was the pregnant woman that we brought she's actually ready to give what the so actually you give birth to a dead baby i'm not sure actually but then oh wait the baby's alive actually oh the husband was dead there was not actually no husband actually but then the baby actually is green also and that's actually cool i never actually tried that out before here is another green person um blue here is a blue person we need here is dr lee a legendary person you probably know her from fallout shelter so um and you can actually whenever you buy something it actually reduces for example let's buy this as you can see it reduce when you want to heal someone uh it can it reduce by one but then when you add it will actually add it to just stay it, that goes same with this it will never actually uh, increase well you just keep on decreasing until it reaches 50 and then when it reaches 50 it will now go back to normal it will keep on decreasing and you can increase it back to 50 but apart from that it doesn't actually add so um yeah that should be everything and okay yep as you can see no rocks not a single one of them we have removed all the rocks you have your steam packs your roadways everyone special everyone special is up high apart from this two i think this one just came now and then this is the child that 
was just given birth to. Everyone is happy, apart from these two who just came now. And this one's level, we increased it a bit. This one, we increased it to maximum limit. Every legendary dweller comes at level 50. So all you have to do is just train their stats, they are special. But then uh, since we already maxed Dr. Lee's own, I think we're all good with that. So yeah, that's it. So um, if you enjoyed the video, um, like, give a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you want something or if I miss something. And also I'm going to post a link of on the video on how to move your saved file your saved fallout shelter game file from one pc and from the pc back to an android thank you again for watching and goodbye